One, two, one, two. Thank you for joining me. This week's feature lesson, we're going to do the ever popular tune, Michael, Row Your Boat Ashore. I'm going to do it in the key of C, and I've created three arrangements for you. The first one being um, more of a beginning Carter style arrangement, and the second two are more of an intermediate to advanced arrangement. And this tune really isn't that long. It's only about eight bars long, the melody, the chord progression. Again, only eight bars long, so that's why I got those three arrangements for you to work on. Uh, this is a very recognizable tune. Many people know and sing this all the time. So we're going to work on getting a couple different solos ready for you. Um, yeah, that's what's up. So if you'd like to purchase the full length version, just click the link below and it will shoot you on my website. There it's going to come with about 35 minutes of video, PDF tabs, and three audio backing tracks. Now if you really like the way I teach and approach learning, you like my song selection, I've got bluegrass, old time, gospel, country, all that sorts of stuff over the site. There's another link down there about being a premier member. Give it a look for a yearly or monthly fee. Access this lesson, over 350 video lessons, all three of my courses in the video exchange program, all right? And I come out with a lesson every week, so I'm constantly adding lessons to the site. Give it a look if you want to hop on board with the community and uh, you think you, I might be a good fit as an instructor for you, all right? So for now, we're going to start walking through the first few measures of this uh, Michael Row Your Boat Ashore in the Kia C. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and start breaking down Michael Row Your Boat Ashore here. We're going to start at the very beginning and uh, make known any markings below the staff are pick directions. So the staples are down and the Vs are up. And the rule of thumb is down picks on down beats and up picks on up beats. Um, any markings above the staff, like little numbers, will be left hand fingerings. There probably isn't too many. Maybe um, I think towards the end there's a few. So I'm going to play these first few measures and then we'll break them down real slow. It starts on beat three. So those first two markings are um, two quarter note rests. So again, I get pick up on beat three. So one, two. So to start the, the melody, um, it kind of has an, or it is an arpeggio, right, at the beginning. So we play that C chord, and again, we're kind of doing a lot of stuff in the Carter style for this first time through. Um, and so we start in the low string, third fret, and then the second string, I'm sorry, D string, second fret, and then G, open G. And that's just one, three, five. And uh, that's an arpeggio for the key uh, for a C chord. Ugh. And um, so and then after our open G, we're gonna strum those bottom three strings. Okay, they're the highest sounding three strings. So open G, first fret B, and high E. And then immediately come up to the second fret D, upstroke, okay? So a little, you gotta have some nice little right hand control here. Just even practicing that. Just that first two beats of the um, second measure. One, two, and the melody sits on the and of beat two there. And then right back down on open G. And then 2nd fret G. Again, go. 3, 4. With the pick 
pickups. Ready, go. And going on to third measure, I play the open G, I strum, and then second fret D, and open G. So really not moving too much in the left hand, just had to move my second finger back and forth a little bit. And in the next measure, I go to F chord, play the short hand F, and play second fret G. And then I strum here, two and three and, and then second fret G again. So anytime we have the, you know, not anytime, but a lot of the time when we have the two eighth notes combined, we have a little beam there. That's usually indicating the strum, especially in this Carter style. multiple notes played together. All right, so from the beginning, I'll play those uh, four measures in context a little bit now. So one, two. second measure make sure you catch in that that last note right there I played on the upstroke okay really watching that pick direction down 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 up down 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 up down and we're down picks on down beats one two three and four up picks on up beats of the or the ands okay that's the general rule. People ask me about that all the time. How important is it? Well, I feel it's very important. I feel almost all instructors are going to say that it is a rule that you need to master and understand. Um, and it will help you keep your timing and be more fluid. And um, yeah, I mean, just help you keep your timing. Be more fluid. That's the reason. And that's what we're always shooting for. So watching that pick direction. I'm not going to go in depth about all that at the moment, but last time these first four measures. So one, two. All right, then moving on to measure five. One, two, one, two. 